Welcome back, everyone. You know, research shows Halloween is the number one holiday where people just get it absolutely wrong. <laughs> they choose the wrong thing to wear to work. Uh, this year, though, we are helping you out. We're going to make sure that you're not that guy or girl that everyone's pointing and laughing at. That's why we brought in workplace expert Joel Patterson. How are you doing? Doing well. How are you guys doing this morning? We're doing great, Joel. Halloween's almost here. And if people are thinking about dressing up for work, you've got the do's and don'ts, starting with quit wearing your lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely a good place to start. Uh, you know, I mean, Halloween's a great tradition. It's easy for people to get involved in at work, so we don't want to discourage it. We want people to be uh, engaged and, and have a good time with it. But there are a couple of rules that you should probably keep in mind. Uh, yeah, I'd start with leave the lingerie at home. Uh, guys probably don't dress up like uh, Tom Cruise in Risky Business, which uh, I, there's probably a lot of people who don't even know that reference anymore. But he was in his underwear and a, and a long sleeve shirt, if I remember right. Uh, you, if, you can also just say, hey, if I'm not going to put this on a child, I'm definitely not going to wear it myself. Uh, <laughs> stay away from politics, especially these days. You uh -huh. don't necessarily want to, even with the election around the corner, I, I would stay away from that. Stay away from religion. Uh, anything that's violent isn't going to be very good. Uh, here's, here's a really simple rule of thumb. If an idea makes you cringe and you're not really sure what to do, that's probably a sure sign to skip it. <laughs> and then the number one thing in my mind that you got to make sure you don't do is don't over glitter. That stuff <laughs> is sticky and will not disappear for at least a year. It, it, you'll find glitter, like you said, on things months later that you wore on Halloween. It's true. And most no, guys no, it don't want, your ears. They don't want glitter all over their desk. Well, then what? Okay, so then let's say people are watching right now and they haven't come up with a Halloween costume for work. How can you be creative? Do you have any other ideas for us, Joel? Well, I think, uh, first of all, you got to take into account whether or not people are at the office or they're remote. Uh, like for us at our office, we're about 40% of people in the office and the rest are remote. And so we're having a, a contest on Friday that's both and supports both uh, locations. Uh, you know, you can always decorate your PPE. Um, you have a mask contest. Uh, make sure that you get leadership to dress up because that helps kind of get things rolling and makes people feel like they're okay uh, in, engaging in, in, uh -huh. the, in the fun. And then look at things like uh, Tiger King. That's a great one. Everybody knows what that is these days. You get a little mullet going. That's yeah. no problem. Uh, Baby Yoda, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Uh, I heard one the other day that I thought was kind of funny. And the fact that, you know, earlier this year in 2020, we had the toilet paper crisis. And so you could even just put some cardboard around you with a, a string of toilet paper or something on it and, and remember those days. I love it. And by the way, I just had a thought right now, Joel. You said guys cannot, they shouldn't dress as, ris dress as risky business. But if you're on, doing work, Virtually, they're only going to see you from the waist up. So uh, technically, don't pull. That's a good me. point. I hadn't really considered that. So you can do both. Yeah. There you go. I like it. <laughs> all right, that's so much fun, Joel. Thank you for those awesome tips. And we will put all of this information on our website, WatchDaytime.com, and also information uh, for Joel Patterson. Yeah, that was great. <laughs>